Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of Work and Travel TV. I'm Leah Bolton, and this is the show that helps adventurous types like you see the world and make money at the same time. Oh, yeah. In today's episode of Work and Travel TV, we'll get to hear from a cruise ship expert and she'll direct us on how to find a cruise ship job. Also, we'll explore the newest addition to the Travel Toolbox, another site where you can learn about travel and work opportunities around the world. And today's travel tip is how to search for the best hotel prices without having to go to 40 different sites to compare notes. This week's question is sent in by Jennifer D. She asks, I saw last week's episode of Work and Travel TV and I'm really interested in tree planting. Adam said it was really tough work. Is it too tough for females? It's definitely tough work, but the best female planters can make just as much money as the male planters out there. In fact, a woman's body type is better designed when it comes to planting a tree and the gear fits women better. If you're not afraid of a physical workout or hanging out in the back country for months at a time with the boys, then it can definitely be a great experience. So I say to Jennifer, go for it. Just like Jennifer, if you have a question about working and traveling, please feel free to submit your questions through the Ask Leah link below or by going directly to the Ask Leah page through the tab at the top. Travel tips. Today's travel tip. How to search for the best hotel prices without having to go to 40 different sites to compare notes. Everyone wants to get a good deal, come on. But sometimes after we spend hours and hours and hours researching on the internet for the best price, it hardly seems worth it after all that time was wasted. Today we're going to take a look at HotelsCombined.com, the world leader in hotel price comparison. This is the site that searches all the best travel sites at once and finds the cheapest price out there, so you don't have to do all the work yourself. By clicking on the link on my page, it will bring you directly to their site. So here we are, HotelsCombined.com. Very simple to use. You can choose your destination or your hotel name. Right now we have entered in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, Check-in date on the 1st of July, just over my birthday on the 4th there. So try those few dates out. You can change the number of guests and the number of rooms. Click on search and it searches through all of the top sites out there and finds the best price based upon that. In the next section of the show, this is where we get a chance to speak with the experts out there. People like you and I who have experienced a work and travel journey out there in the world. Today on Work and Travel TV, our special guest is Elizabeth Aceves, former cruise ship employee and current co-creator of the guide, HowToWorkOnACruise.com. There's a link on my page that you can check out after this episode. Liz, thank you for joining us today. Uh, you're very welcome, Leah. So Liz, right now you are in Playa del Carmen. I'm very jealous because there is still snow where I am right now. How's the weather out there? Actually, the weather is very nice over here. Um, yep, yeah, it's uh, pretty much beach, beach day every single day, so it's very sunny, very nice. All right, Liz, tell me about your work experience on the cruise ship. Tell me about your job specifically. What did you do and what was it like? Well, first I basically started in the food and beverage department as a buffet steward. Um, I basically started there because I didn't know how many job positions um, you could find in a cruise line or I didn't know how to apply um, to different, any other different job. Um, once I was there, I was able to move to different departments. Uh, actually, in my final contract, I worked as a librarian in the entertainment department, and I'm going to say that was probably the best job position that I could have. 
Everyone's experience is different working on a cruise ship. Tell me about yours in particular. What were the perks to the job? Well, actually, it was fantastic because um, as a librarian, I had every single port off. So that meant um, I could, you know, spend a day in Australia, in Sydney, the, the day off in India, in Mumbai, or anywhere in the world where we were. Um, another of um, my favorite things um, as a librarian was that I could spend a lot of time in the passenger areas. So pretty much every night I would go and watch the shows or had um, nice dinners in the passengers restaurants or even just go and have fun in the passengers karaoke. So that was just perfect. As well, what were the negative aspects out there? The main negative aspect is that it's um, very hard work. I mean, you need to be aware that you work seven days a week in most of the job positions on board the cruise ship. So the day that you join the ship, you will start working and you will work every single day until you, your contract finishes. Liz, when someone asks you about your advice when it comes to working on a ship, what do you say to them? I highly, highly recommend it. So I guess that it's a safe assumption as to why you created the guide, how to work on a cruise.com. Tell me a bit about that. There's a small cost involved in the purchasing of your resources in your guide. What makes them so valuable? What do customers get? You will be able to find every single step that you need to do uh, in order to um, get a job on board the cruise ship. Um, in this guide, you will find absolutely everything. We, we enlist over 30 different cruise lines and concessionaires. We give um, every single um, contact information. We give the job descriptions of every single job that you could imagine on board the cruise ship. Um, we give um, interview secrets. We give resume um, advice. We basically try to um, get every single thing that you need to do in order, you know, just to find a job on board the cruise ship. Well, thanks again, Liz, for joining us on this week's episode of Work and Travel TV. We really appreciate all of your advice, taking the time to share your experience, and thank you for sharing your amazing guide that you've taken the time to put together for everyone out there. Uh, thank you very much, Leah. It was a pleasure. The Travel Toolbox. Today, we will be taking a look at international.gc.ca, a site where you can learn about travel and work opportunities around the world. Head on over to the Travel Toolbox page. The latest site will be at the top of the list. Here we go. International.gc.ca. I've preloaded it for this page. Interested in traveling and working abroad. For Canadians, you can click here, and non Canadians, you can click here. So, we're going to learn about travel and work opportunities around the world for Canadians. Here we go. Just scroll down to the bottom here, and there's a little blurb how it works. We're going to click on that three easy steps they go through and they have more information for you here. The first step one, choose your destination. Step two, choose your category. And step three, application. So they'll step you through every single part that you will need to know. If you click on destinations here, it will come up with all of the countries that you can travel to, what type of visa you're looking for and whether you can get one at these particular countries. To learn more about the visas, say for example we want to go to Australia on a working holiday visa, click on Australia and there will be more visa information here for you. So that's all you have to do. Check out international.gc.ca to learn about travel and work opportunities around the world. So there you go. You can find the site in the Travel Toolbox page where it will be growing every episode. Work and Travel TV will be your one-stop shop for all of your travel tips and landing that travel job. That's it for today's episode of Work and Travel TV, the show that helps adventurous types like you see the world and make money at the same time. In the next episode of Work and Travel TV, we'll be speaking with an expert who has taught English all over the world, and we'll have a new addition to the Travel Toolbox, as well as another useful travel tip for your journeys. We're here to give you the ins and outs and to help you find that perfect job out there. I'm Leah Bolton and thank you for watching.